everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Podcast, the only sneaker podcast where the hosts finish each other's dinners. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. We had Panera. You probably would have been pretty happy with the second half of our dinner over here. Oh, not a Panera guy. Ah. Mm. Mm, yeah. Should we roll credits? Is that it for this week? Is that where we end it? <laughs> Give us wanna, that you, bad out the gate. Look, Ashley has already listened to the rant that I've had on Panera. Uh, off air? So, oh, well, I yeah, don't think, we don't have a podcast. I would say, I don't think you're on air about Panera. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely ain't cut the check. It, it, yeah. it would have to be a big check. Yeah. Oof. Astronomical. Thank you. Yeah. How's your week going? Ooh, sluggish, but yeah. but fun. It's mm-hmm. it's a weird it's a weird. I'm, mm. There's like a there's like a weird stomach bug. But like I work with kids, so it's like there's always a stomach bug. Right. Um. But just started a new client. He's mm-hmm. really fun, super cute. Okay. So it's like. There's like that fresh energy that I, that, that I, you know, so it's nice, but then I'm also kind of like, I'm feeling tired and, and not, yeah. uh, not in the best. So yeah. it's a weird, it's a weird meeting, Power but, through but it. so far I, that's <laughs> pumpkin spice, <laughs> hey. pumpkin spice at an emergency on the way, you know, it, that's the cold foam. That's the real cold foam. Oh, I'm trying that th- tomorrow. I don't think, I don't think emergency would taste good in a, in a PSL. Get Man. back to me. Get back to me. Yeah. Let me know. I'll yeah. shoot you a text about seven forty in the morning. I'll let you know how my day is not really good. going. That's all yeah. the text says. Not good. I need to remember. Yeah. Oh, he's doing the PSL and emergency latte. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, your week though should be going a little bit better. Exciting week. It's going very well. That's right. You hey. know it. But to give everyone a little preface and context for this episode, we're leaving for vacation at the end of this week. My wife and I. So Ooh, we'll be gone for a week. Uh, we're going to California. Going out to the national parks out there, so we're going to have a good wow. time. Yeah. You know, being in Louisiana, you see anything that's, like, taller than an anthill, and you're like, nature. Mm-hmm. I love nature, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Pine trees? Pine trees. Sequoias. Sequoias, redwoods. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I, so. I Pine trees and cypress. It's about, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all we got down here. That's right. Yeah. Oh, sequoias. Magnolia, Those are big ones. Lucky. Yeah. Big. Sequoias is big ones. Tall. Round. Tall. All around. Round. All around. Tree. Yeah. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> Describes tree. I feel like I just saved y'all a bunch of money. Branches, leaves on the end of the branches, bark, the whole thing, bark. roots, underground, root. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Tell you what, Brian, you love trees. I got a holiday for you. Arbor Day. <laughs> Gonna put you on the spot. Don't know if this is true. Don't have the answer for you. Sequoia. Uh-huh. Is this a? Is it a? Is it a? A deep root or a like a shallow root? So is it like a pine tree where it like shoots down but not really out, or more oaky where it goes out but not deep? Give me 10 days. I'll get back to you. I'll let you know. By the time we're doing the next episode, I'll have a firm opinion on the roots, both the band and the tree system. Good. That's the only thing I want you to do (laughs) on your vacation is research Sequoia roots. (laughs) Not even research. Yeah. Must come from a park ranger. Must. Okay. Got you. But what if I just come back to you with like a lot of information about like Questlove and Black Thought in Philadelphia? And I'm like, wait, that was the wrong roots. (laughs) I mean, I'll take it. Also good. I'll take it. Yeah. Also good. Yeah. Huh. All right. But huh. yes, we're going on vacation at the end of the week. And so as I was packing my bag and I'm going through it and every sneakerhead has this deliver, what mm-hmm. shoes do I bring? What occasions are we going to have? And that's when the light bulb went off. That should be our episode for this week where we talk about our favorite vacation shoes. So, it is a very tough, tough thing to do because you, can, mm. you can't pack everything. No, you, you got to try and. You got to try and think of all the outfits that you're going to do. Mm-hmm. You got to try and go, like, okay, what are we doing on the vacation? Where are we going? That's right. It's tough. It's yeah. Tough. So we went and each kind of grabbed our favorite sneakers for each vacation. We've gotten to the side here. We'll hold mm-hmm. them while we talk about it. And we kind of broke this out into three main categories of vacations. There's the beach trip. You're on the sand. You got your toes in the sand a little, maybe a little brew in hand. Sun's beaming Ooh. down. The nature the hike. That's where I'm going. Your ACG Sorry. from head to toe, maybe even including what goes on the toe there. You're just water out, wicking. Water wicking. You're out there breathing fresh air. And lastly, big city. You're breathing the least fresh of the air. Smog is real. It's threatening yeah. our environment. But to all buildings, hey, they got a they got a um they got a Nando's here. That's a chicken place that we don't have here. Oh, okay. See, they got they got an in and out here. You know that reference. That one. Yeah. That one lands. Yeah. I, Not a fan though. Mm-mm. 
That's the second time I'm about to roll credits on you here. <laughs> no Panera. No in and out. Don't take this man anywhere. Favorite yeah. fast food place, real quick. Whataburger. I don't know about you, but in Baton Rouge, I went to the Whataburger three months ago, and I'm still sitting in that drive through I'm still waiting there. They got the slowest drive through I've ever seen. Yeah, they do. They do. But mm, boy, that honey mustard, that spicy okay. ketchup. Mm, okay. All right. Also, hey, no, not moving on. Real quick, time out. If the best thing you have to say about your favorite fast food place is the condiments, I don't know oh. if I'm going to let it fly. Well, I think you just – that is a is an extra. The double cheeseburger over okay. there is just okay. fantastic. You get a Whopper <laughs> size, but great taste. Okay, gotcha. I just wanted to make fries sure it wasn't just condiments you were going. No, fries a little too salty. Maybe they're listening. I mean, they can get back to us. Looser, lighter hands, people. Lighter hands. <laughs> what a burger, not what a fry. It's <laughs> <laughs> So, shall we get into our episode now? I'm ready. So, beach trip, right? Try to get yourself there mentally. Mm. This is just – Close your, close your eyes. Send yourself out. All right, you're on the beach. You did it. How did you summon the beach? Wow, that was that was really scary. Because as soon as I opened it, I saw the change, and I was uh, for yeah. a half second. I was are. like, Yeah. Well, where am here I? we are on the beach. We can you know put our mm. little hands in the sand like this. We build a little sand castle out. So I was telling you before we started recording that for each vacation, I like to bring two to three pairs, at least two, yep. no less than two. For different activities. I kind of group this by you got an all day shoe, something you just need to wear mm-hmm. all day for the comfort, maybe a going out casual wear shoe. You're going to go to a little dinner or restaurant, something like that. And then a lounge shoe, something kind of cozy to sit in there. Mm. I don't know. I did how, not follow that. You don't have to. That's that's what I do for okay. my vacation. What's your gotcha. approach when you go on a vacation? You try to bring one that does it all or a couple of. Well, so it's, it's, it's pretty tough. I'll usually try to do. I guess like a good, like I know I'm going to be walking shoe. So mm-hmm. like something that's like built for comfort. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to be out all day kind of thing. Um, I don't really think of like a, I guess like a going out shoe. Cause I usually, yeah. most of the sneakers are, are like a, like a, a nice dinner. Cause okay. I'm like, most of the sneakers will be fine. So I'm not necessarily yeah. bringing a super dressy shoe. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe at most like a really nice high top, you know, yeah. maybe something like that. Okay. Um, I'll usually bring like those two because honestly, most of the time when I'm traveling, I'm traveling in my like comfort shoe. Okay, fair. So I'm so you've kind of got one already. You don't need two in the chamber. Yeah. So to to make sure I didn't have a lot of repeats, I kind of excluded my travel shoe. Okay, that's good. Um, so, but I did I did get I did get three that at least okay either I know I've brought on that on that specific trip. Mm-hmm. Or give me the vibe of that trip. Okay. Why don't you want know you why don't you go first? Beach trip, okay. walk me through your beach shoes there. If gotcha. If you're on an episode of Rocket Power and they're calling you a shoe bee, what are they calling you a shoe bee for? Well, if I'm doing a beach trip, it's honestly probably since I since I bought this shoe in ooh, what was this? Twenty eighteen. Wow. Okay. Born in twenty eighteen. It has gone to every beach trip that i have gone to and i've gone to the beach every year since then yeah you're no stranger to the sands of florida oh absolutely not Mm -hmm. ultra Mm. boost parlay collab yeah um it's just a clean looking shoe it's a Mm -hmm. good looking shoe great all day shoe gonna be walking hitting the outlet mall uh you know you could throw it in you could definitely get this in a in a a somewhat nice dining area yeah it's Destin, so you know you're not going anywhere <laughs> and to be clear my my going out shoe is not like a going sit at a nice restaurant it's just yeah. a if my all day shoe is going to get a little beat up and i maybe want something that makes me feel gotcha. a little bit better so there you go there you go i don't want so, to yeah. get to my old my my going out shoe and you're like ryan you're going to ruth's chris and the dusters it's not that okay hey yes yeah. good so, for shoe i think so you know when you when you think beach uh, and sneakers par, you know, parlay is definitely going to be up there with their beautiful yeah. recycling program. So yeah, just always hits. And then you get the, you get the little shark socks that go with this. Mm. Come on. Now, dog. Let me ask you, are you trying to make a statement here by wearing the shoes made with plastics recycled from the ocean back to the ocean? Like, are you taunting the ocean by wearing these? It's like, you're conquering it. I did think about it because, you know, does the ocean enjoy the plastic in there or does it not? Because I could yeah. be showing either a I could be taunting it like, look, I look what I took from you or 
I could be going to the ocean saying, yeah. look what I did to your enemy. Right. <laughs> I've turned it into a shoe. Not I directly, shoe. but I supported that yeah. with my yeah, dollars. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do we, do you want to hit the hit my all three? You want to go one for one? Why don't we go your all three? Because I don't know that our okay. categories or activities are exactly one for one here. And then another one that just again, kind of, I guess, kind of like what you said, makes me feel good. Mm-hmm. Just gives me beach energy. Mm-hmm. Nike, Air Max One. That's the have a Nike day. Okay. Okay. I mean, the colors on it just yeah. scream beach to me. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, if anything, Miami, I have, I was going to say, you're giving me Miami neon right there. I've definitely never been. Um, it's also got great comfort, you know, Mm -hmm. um, if I know I'm going to be walking a ton that day, obviously I'm pulling my ultra boost over Mm -hmm. air max, just based on simple comfort, but you could walk all day in these and I have, and Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just good beach vibes. It'd give me real eighties, nineties beach vibes. Okay. Just bring just bring that sense of like happiness to me. Mm, bring a little what bring your own beach? sunshine to the beach. Yeah. Um and then honestly, just I was thinking of a of a good casual shoe. Mm-hmm. Um and I'm thinking almost like picture day. You know when you go mm. to the beach, there's always always a picture day most of the time you're in yeah. the sand so you're barefoot but sometimes you're going out you want to be at a certain place hey yeah. we're going we're going to dress up so we want to take some nice pictures something that just kind of lays is a your little family, low is your family all white shirts in the khakis <gasps> we used to okay. we used to we we went very rogue um this last year and i thought it was the best i okay. had a uh uh you were with me whenever uh actually shout out one of our episodes thrifted polo um, okay. button down some okay. nice uh, light blue denim I thought you were um, saying i was with you at the beach i was like i you might want to get your <laughs> eyes checked i certainly was not the pina coladas were <laughs> flowing <laughs> it felt like you were there yeah and that's just gonna be a simple i think a brand nobody really talks about but deserves okay. a lot of heat okay. it's diodora baby diodora the v7000 mm-hmm. um i'm not this is a very i mean i got, I got this quite some time ago doesn't even really have the year that i picked it up but i got it a long time ago so this colorway yeah. retire baby Ooh, um up in the rafters but just gives me just gives me like again like 90s beach dad yeah yeah you if know, it had just, the purple on it it would have jazz solo cup vibes you know for sure for sure and mm-hmm. i think they knew and i think they didn't <laughs> want to take that and they didn't want the smoke yeah yeah so this was this is a this is a great one. I I, I really love this. This is again just a really comfortable shoe. Uh, all of these shoes, real easy to take on and off. You know, that's kind of okay, what I think of important. when I'm going to the beach. Is how easy can I slip these on and off? Um, you know, and this is again another comfortable shoe. Um, could wear all day. Could put a couple you know couple thousand steps in these bad boys mm-hmm. and be doing be doing all right. Okay, all right. I love your list there. Thank you. Unrelated, unintentionally, I do love how our logo on this screen very much looks like the sun in the sky. Sun. Like, this is unironically a very cute look for us. We might, you know, I'm going to bookmark this one. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry you're posing for the picture. I just meant I would save this background for later. But I, I love how you posed for the picture. That was very nice. Well, you paused. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, quick picture. Sure. Sure, no problem, no problem. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, the casual list, casual mm-hmm. list. Um, walk me down your sandy boardwalk. <laughs> I would love to. I'm I'm a happily married man, but I would love to. Uh, Thank you. When I'm thinking of you know my different purposes, I've got here all day shoe. You're gonna be out on the beach. You're gonna be out yeah. in the sand. I don't want sand in my sneakers. I'm a shoeby, but perhaps not on the sand. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to bring the sandal. I'm going to bring nice. the Nike ACG yeah. Deschutes, Deschutes there. Just a just a good sandal. I don't want to flip flop. I don't want no. you know my my toes between the things or just a slide. Even I want something mm-hmm. that's going to kind of lock me in there, but it's going to be comfortable. It's got that padding on it. You can nice. see, look at that. Look at that dirt. That's warm. Yeah, we're wearing. That's in we're the conditions. Them. That's in the conditions. All of them. I don't really know that I've got much more to say about it other than just like it's a good hey, sandal. You know, I like. I it. Agree. I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. Normally, like I said, my travel shoe is usually going to be probably a croc. Um, yeah. So, you know, I don't want people thinking that I'm, I'm I'm walking to the beach in these shoes. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know? Okay. That's but, fair. Uh, Good clarification point there. Ever since you got those sandals, I've kind of looked at them and been like, I don't think I probably wouldn't wear a yeah. sandal, but I, every time I look at them, I'm like, I really, I like them. Yeah. Well, I, re- I like them a lot. Hang in there for a bit and I'll show you a shoe that ruined them for me, but it's not this next one. This next one is my now going out casual wear, right? You know, maybe we're at the okay. beach, but we're going to go do some stuff in the city. I don't want to be wearing the sandal in the city. Yeah. Very much like my guy. I'm going to throw on the Air Max ones. Ooh. I like the big bubbles a lot. I've been wearing these a yeah. lot. This is very often for me, my going to walking for a day shoe. Cause it's, mm. it's comfortable enough. Like you said, it's not ultra boost. It's not the most comfy shoe that I have. Some of the but more still. supportive stuff, but it's a good kind of goes with everything shoe. In fact, in our upcoming interview that we have, our guest asked us if you could only wear one shoe for the rest of your life. And I put this one on my list for that reason. Stylish, the red, you know, a little contrasty, but can go with most mm-hmm. things comfortable yep. enough for all across everything. So yeah, I've been, I've been putting in the miles on these. I've been dusting these up. Yeah. But, gosh. Mm. We're going to make a quick run to the state. We might, we're going to hit the outlets. We're going to go to FUD puckers. You know, I'm going to throw in the air Boom. max. I need something. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to let me in toes out. I Good don't know point. if it's that kind of bar. Hey, and then if lastly, it ain't, I don't want to be there. Yeah. <laughs> that's not my kind of bar. I want to mm-hmm. be on the, uh, what's it called? The Florida Bama line. That's where yeah. we're living. That's where been we're there. spending vacation. Well, that is like, <laughs> that bar is crazy. I don't doubt it. I've never been there, but I would just assume. It's not international land, but. <laughs> but law sure treat, is questionable. Yeah. They, they sure treat that state line like it's <laughs> the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> and then lastly, if I'm going to have a lounge shoe, right? This is, we get back to the hotel, the Airbnb, the condo, wherever we're staying. I don't want my mm-hmm. sandy sandals on. I don't know if I necessarily yeah. want to be barefoot. You know it. You love it. It's going to be the Salehi Benberry Crocs. You got to do, um, do it. Which for me, I've not yet worn these in the sand on the beach, but mm-hmm. for a lot of the other stuff that I was wearing my sandals on, this has now become the go-to. I wear these all the time. A or not to. unhealthy amount. Just, I like it a little bit more comfortable and like casual than the sandal. The sandal you got to like strap your whole foot into. This you yeah. can if you want to go, but you can pop that off. You can put it in sport mode. However you mm. want to do it here, hard to go wrong. It really is. It's hard to go yeah. wrong with a croc. I just completely knocked one of my monitors sideways. Hold, please. Oh, Lord. We'll fix that after the show. We'll fix that post-production. A little flex real quick, though. Yeah, so it's it's not... I wouldn't say it is because this is actually... We're getting way down the rabbit hole now. This is a monitor that I've had probably since I've been like in eighth grade. And so it one... One day I wanted to have a third monitor. I wanted a vertical for yeah. chat, for work, Slack, stuff like that. Um, it's a pain and I absolutely hate it, but I'm too cheap to buy another one. So there's, oh. I mean, come on, why? There's something for the listener. If anyone stayed this far into the episode, there you go. That's for you. <laughs> Sweet yeah. treat for you. Mm-hmm. Sweet. So treat. there's our beach trip. That's what we're putting on the sunscreen for. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I, I love like it. it. Pretty similar, you know, with the Air Max ones. I think so. There. Yeah. Air Max is just a it's just a classic colorway. It mm-hmm. looks good. It's comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Are you ready to go on our next vacation? Ready. Okay. Well, you got to close your eyes, right? I got to take oh. you there. Uh, sure. Right. Okay. Paint Picture the picture yourself. We're out in nature. It's a big green, ah, lush ah. landscape. Exactly. You got the rock face to your right. Maybe the sands to your left there. Oh, oh it's uh, okay. A mosquito, I guess. <laughs> Open your eyes now. I don't, I don't know how to get us out of that. That was weird. We're in the mountains. We're doing a big what? nature hike now. Me. And someone brought their drone. That's how we got this shot. Yeah. yeah. The last like one I'm was like, a video as well. You just couldn't tell. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm in, like that Disney ride, you know? Where you, oh, sore? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm about to smell the oranges any second here. That's the one thing I remember from that ride. You fly over like an I, orange grove at some point, at least in like oh. the very early versions. Shout out to those of us that have not been to Disney in a while, but also yellow shoe podcast logo. Once again, kind of looking like the sun in the sky. Wow. So this is cute. This is cute. Let us know in the two. comments. If y'all want us to bring this back, no one's gonna, but two, for two. Two, two for two, two for two. Yeah. Keep it up. Maybe on the third one as well. So Ayo. take me there. Take me to your nature boy zone. Ric Flair. Woo. Okay. What are you bringing? So honestly, I had to kind of play around with this one because 
if I am going, I am just bringing kind of like my run of the mill uh, Red Wing hiking boots. Nothing wrong with um, that. But I wanted to go a little bit more spruce, spruce, and I didn't feel like walking to the okay. garage to, gra- to grab them. They are also <laughs> very dirty. So okay, got to. So I said, I said, what do I have in my closet? That I have worn that could fit that. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's it, I use it more as a little bit more of like a uh, dressy dressy shoe, but it is technically a boot. Um, okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is from Bull Boxer. Okay. And this is a ankle boot. Okay. Can we? Yeah. Hold Let's back see. a little bit. Yeah. If we can. Get, yeah. There we go. There we go. Mm. Okay. A little. A little. Okay. All right. So we got we got traction the, on the bottom. We got the well, the full traction. I mean, this thing is actually screwed into the oh, shoe. Oh, you got the steel toes on those, or is that just how they screw no. the sole in? That's just how they how they oh, decided wow. to do the interesting. Um, how they decided to to do the sole, um, full leather. Uh, mm-hmm. it's it's got a nice got a nice like kind of like a uh, flannel like lining a flannel. to it. Yeah, very comfortable shoe. Mm-hmm. Um. Like I said, normally this is like my dress shoe, but if mm-hmm. I if I just was like, hey, we're going on a hike, this is kind of like the boot that I could I could possibly see myself in okay. if I didn't have my hiking boots. Now, what I really like is that kind of like reinforce. I don't know how well it's coming. Oh, up. over the toe there. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, can can um, can say that it is pretty pretty waterproof. Okay. Um, have have found myself stepping into a puddle getting out of the car. Um, and had absolutely no issue. So I was like, okay. you know what? Yeah. I just wanted to shout out this boot. I think it's a really, really good looking boot. And what's the uh, comfort like on those? T- it's tough. It's it's a pretty okay. it's a okay. pretty firm, um, pretty firm sole for it's, sure. It's, it's a trade off I find with a hiking boot between like got to be like very. I don't know if supportive is the word, but it's like it's really got to lock your foot in there, right? You don't want to be twisting an ankle on the trail. Yeah, and, so and it definitely the does. Trade off there is like it's not on three inches of foam, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty firm. Uh, like I said, it is more of like a dressier boot for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, but I think it could get the job done. Yeah, and yeah. then what I have worn in mm-hmm. some pretty not not favorable weather conditions. Yeah. Um, which was just a, just a, a great shoe. Um, mm-hmm. absolutely beautiful is the, Ooh, yeah. That's the Nike SB homegrown right there, baby. Listen, I mean, that might be of all the shoes. Cause I can see your whole list and you don't, you don't know what I have on my list. I think mm-hmm. that's the best thematically nail on the head shoe we have on this episode. Absolutely. I mean, as soon as I, as, as soon as I saw nature vacation, I was like, this mm-hmm. is this is obviously the one. I mean, you've got your, you know, beautiful hiking laces right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, as you can see, just proof is in the pudding. You put I, the miles on. Yeah, we 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 went ahead, and what I really like about it is that, um, it being a very like nature driven shoe, the mm-hmm. dirt and the mud that kind of got on it, uh, I think just adds a lot to it, and I yeah, I really enjoy. Like I've got caked on mud on the laces and things like that. Um, I just think gives it that little bit extra of a character, um, mm-hmm. that I see in the shoe. Um, so I really, I really, really enjoyed the shoe. And I was like, if I'm thinking of a nature shoe, this is, this yeah. is the one. Yeah, absolutely. It's if fantastic. I had to guess, probably someone pretty nice gave you those, you know, on a very special day, brought me to tears, brought me to tears. You did. It's a good one. It's a good, it's shoe. fantastic. Damn. That's. <sighs> That's really good for the nature height category. I think so. And then again, I, I was like, okay, travel shoe. You know, mm-hmm. I wanted to exclude it. But I'm thinking when I think of a nature trip, mm-hmm. you know, obviously you've got some serious hiking. But then one of the greatest feelings mm-hmm. after a hike is getting to your campsite. Fire is just starting to get rolling. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your tent's already up. You've got everything ready to go. You take your hiking boots off. You you're you're putting your socks up to dry. You let the dogs breathe. You are letting the dogs breathe, but you're on a campsite. You're in nature. You can't really. You don't really want to be walking around barefoot. You know what? You don't know yeah. what's out there. So yeah, I think just the the greatest of freeing camp shoes has to just be. Oh, has to just be mm. a crock. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's gonna be hard to beat. 
it's it's just something easy to slip on. Uh, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty, it being wet, your feet mm-hmm. being sweaty and things like that. Mm-hmm. It's going to give you that nice breathability. Um, and I really like these. I chose these. You know, it kind of, you know, it gives you some rugged kind of nature-esque. Mm-hmm. I don't think these give you any more traction than a regular croc, but they look cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But really the thing that I chose these ones for was the adjustable strap mm. uh, on the heel. So key moment. Um, comfort around the campfire. Mm-hmm. Let me go hike a little bit to go pee pee. <laughs> yeah. Locked in. So, yeah. I mean, just a, a great relaxing. You just mm-hmm. put in a, a, a beefy hike and now it's time to mm. let the dogs out. <laughs> Call me the Baja men. We're letting the dogs out on this one. And I'm going to let you know who did it. <laughs> me. <laughs> me. <laughs> That's good. So, All right. I like your list a lot. Now here's the here's the thing. You this list is going to be real big for you because you've gone on some pretty pretty serious nature trips and obviously like we said at the top you're about a couple days. You're about yeah. to go on a nature trip. So this one pressure's on. Yeah, and let's hope I live up to the cooker here. A little yeah. bit of context. We're going on our 1 year anniversary trip. So wow. about Beautiful. a year ago. Love. Thank you. Thank you. About a year ago, when we did our honeymoon, we went to Joshua Tree in Zion. So that's where kind of, you know, started to do the national parks and the hiking a little bit. So this list is pretty much what I brought then. Okay. Um, served me well. So I think I'm going to bring almost this exact, if not a very similar two out of three uh, rotation for our upcoming trip. For the hikes, for the trails, it's the only reason I own this shoe, perhaps. It's going to be the ACG Mountain is. Fly. Come on. I love these so much, and I do wear them casually as well because. Can't attest. Because ACG is a personality trait, I suppose. <laughs> um, but deck. I love these so, so much. They are super comfortable with like all this foam on the bottom of it here, but mm. it also has this great lacing system that locks your foot in so you don't get a like, you're not rolling your ankle or anything like that. And then you want to talk yeah. traction. Come on. Just. Look Someone called Goodyear. We put the tire on the bottom of this thing. Sheesh. So I love these so, so much. I don't know what else there's to say about them. Um, yeah. Water resistant. If it's raining, not so bad. Waterproof ish. Mm-hmm. Probably. I think when you get up to this sort of mesh part, if your foot's getting more submerged than that, I think it'll start to get wet a little bit. But I mean, but I think at that point, any shoe other right, than exactly. a, like an actual like rain boot is going right. to do that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but how many? What? What are you getting? Three inches, four inches of a puddle that you could that you could right. get into. Oh before yeah, by you're... the time you get up here. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I think that is that is more than Respectable. plenty. Respectable. Yeah. Any, I think e- even a hiking boot is is still going to let in. Mm-hmm. I honestly w- wasn't a big fan of these until I saw them uh, in person, yeah. um, and I do th- like they are. They look if you're looking for tech wear, if you're looking for a very like almost like military kind of like futuristic mm-hmm. shoe. That really is one of the, like the ones I think of now it is very weird uh, how much I have kind of looked at it and been like, I wouldn't buy it. Cause I don't think I would get much burn out of it, but gosh mm-hmm. darn it. That's a good looking shoe. I think I even made you try it on. Cause I was like, feel how comfy it is. And it is, it is it's cr- a giant chunk of foam down here. It's super yeah. comfy. It is. It is oddly comfortable like when you look at you don't think it's going to be that comfortable right. but let me take like putting some serious miles in that shoe yeah yeah and not having to worry about you know any type Keeping of mud clean. right yeah oh, yeah you just mm. literally i i we wore them on the last time we went to the cabins out in mississippi earlier uh this year and i got a cake to mud and literally just took them back and just ran them under a hose and they'll just you know because it's, it's all gore-tex on the outside what's that we're walking at night uh oh, reflective hit on the back. You can see I got tail lights on. Never here's your, fun, hit. here's your fun fact of the night. The guy who Ooh. designed these, lead designer over at Nike when he was there, I'm forgetting his name and hopefully I'll put it in the episode at some point, also had a hand in designing the Nike Yeezys. He then went on to Montclair to work with them for a bit and he's now at Adidas. I don't know if he's in the basketball division, but based on his work with this, and the Nike Easy one, and the fact that he's now at Adidas and Jerry Lorenzo is Adidas, I have high hopes for seeing not this, but you know, like I want to see 
his okay. take on this at Adidas. He does a lot of like at Montclair, he was doing similar sort of like this big traction up over the top of the toe here. So very I'll interesting. Fingers crossed on that. I wish I remembered his name, but oh, well, we'll get the pipeline. Okay. Yeah. It'll, it'll be in the description, maybe somewhere, maybe it's on the screen. I don't want to put that pressure on myself. I'm leaving in like three days for vacation. So yeah. Yeah. if this episode's out, awesome. Okay. Clutch. Keeping it moving. Uh, we got the the going out the casual wear shoe, right? Maybe mm-hmm. we're going walking. Maybe it's a it's a quote unquote hike, but it's not strenuous. Okay. I need something comfortable, but also can beat it up. Air Max ninety Bacon's for me. Interesting. I wore these a lot of the time when we were on our honeymoon because I also feel like the color palette just kind of does well for like that deserty sort of out west. You know, just kind of like it. muted a little bit more. I could see um, it. So it's I it's not the hiking shoe. Cause you know, leather yeah. sock liner here. It's not like you're, I'm going to wear it all day and get sweaty in it. But mm-hmm. like we went around this time of the year. So like late October, early November, it's way cooler out there, obviously than over here. Um, hmm. And I love these. I beat them up. They got super dusty, but it's one that, you know, this is not like the other ones where it's like, I ran it under a hose. No, it's got suede panels on it. So it's like, yeah, I just brushed it off and I like the way it looks dirty and beat up. Interesting. To me, it's kind of got like what you've got for the homegrowns. I'm not going to cake it in mud, yeah. but if it gets dirty, I'm not going to baby it. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like the curveball. I agree that whenever you're saying like the colors, um, especially like does kind of give very like deserty. I like that. I like, big, yeah. So big curveball there. Between these and the big bubbles, these are the Air Max I'm wearing the most. And I love them so much. And I love beating them up. I think they look better that way. They're a good brand. Air Max is just look. Air Max is just a good beat. Yeah. Now, last but certainly not least, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. My one repeat for the episode. If I'm going to oh, bring okay. a lounge shoe. Right. I'm bringing the yeah. Slahi Crocs. But I got a different lounge shoe lined up for the next one. It's just tough because when we went on our honeymoon, I brought the ACG sandals because I didn't have these yet. So that was my mm-hmm. kind of lounge. Need something cozy. Just kind of throw on real quick. Maybe if we're out yeah. by water or something like that. Uh, it would now be this almost certainly. So, it's but tough not to. For the same reason as you, when we did our interview last week, that pair of Crocs I wore. That's my like. I walk around the neighborhood. I don't mow the yard, but like I'll walk in the yard in those. I mm-hmm. love that. Like I can. It's the only like these are the only shoes I have where I can take them to the backyard and just hit them with a hose and be like, now they're clean, as opposed to like yep. busting out the Jason Mark kit. You know that is that is literally what I do with them, and it's it's great. Or like I'll yeah. just take them in the shower with me and just yeah. Psh- it's fantastic. Okay, well, I don't know if we need it. That's on the Patreon. The Patreon's not even open, but maybe we'll, there you go. if enough people comment, we'll bring it back. You're welcome. And I'll do but it it's for just you. the feet. Yeah. Well, no, it's full body. It's double. If you want just the feet, cause I know I'll they'll say, well, pay for it. I'll know they'll pay extra for it. There you go. We'll have tears. <laughs> the tears okay. is in levels, not tears is in. Yeah. Okay. All right. You ready for our next vacation here? Please. No peeking. I see uh-uh. cover up. Okay. Okay. All right, got you. Sorry. <laughs> That's somehow more halting. Okay. All right, you ready? We're leaving the mountains. We're going to the big bustling city. We're going to have a good time. We're going to see a lot of stuff we don't I'm have back home. Here. Exactly. We're seeing some big businesses. We're going to some restaurants we don't have. We're taking in shops that we don't have back home. That's We're a big-ass rat. We're there. Go ahead. Open your eyes. Surprise the other big city. You knew it was going to be this one. You knew I was going to put us in Chicago. That's right. We're at the bead. We're at the B now. So. It's not going to look like this. I don't know what they're doing, but. Yeah, it's under construction right now. Or there, it, Maybe it's just cleaning it, but yeah. <sighs> I struggled for a bit finding like the right city I wanted to bring. And I was like, come on, it's going to be Chicago. Obviously, why would it not be? <laughs> I found Woodstock footage that was a, it was a street shot of where the Chicago theater is, the giant marquee. And the name on the marquee was Chris Tucker. And I was like, no free publicity for Chris Tucker. But he's in yeah. stock footage out there now whenever he performed at the Chicago wow. theater. Good for you, Chris Tucker. Yeah, let's say go ahead, Chris. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, I mean, glad Real you picked. Glad- yeah, Ooh. quick timeout. Actually, now looking at your list, I realize why. I picked Chicago because you and I went on a trip to Chicago, and yes. so I thought I might know where your head was at. And not to spoil anything, but this list is giving me flashbacks, so tell me about it. Okay. First shoe mm-hmm. that I'm going to go over, also in your interview, uh, we had talked about, you know, obviously, what is a shoe that you would, <clears throat> if you could only pick one, what would you wear? Uh, this shoe made made that list just mm-hmm. because of the pure comfort in it. 
Um, when I'm thinking big city, I'm thinking I am thinking big heat. I am thinking what is something that I'm gonna go that's gonna mm-hmm. catch people's eye. They're gonna see it. They're gonna know. I want to get the nods. I want to get the looks. But obviously, I'm walking all day and things like that. So that's gonna oh, be you were so close to auto roll too. But obviously, I'm walking here. Okay, go I'm ahead. walking here. Yeah, Jordan three black cement. I Ooh. mean, it it's mm. a it's an icon. It's a showstopper. It's a head turner. Yeah. Um, and again, I I know I've said it. I think we have both said it, both on and off air. Mm-hmm. Probably the most comfortable Jordan. Um, I think so. Out there, and, and it rivals just a comfortable shoe. I mean, mm-hmm. it is just well padded, well structured, everything like mm-hmm. that. So I absolutely love um, my Black Simon threes. When I'm thinking big city, I'm thinking showstopper. Yeah, I'm. I'm packing this bad boy right here. He's he, he's a first. Okay, there you go. And especially for a city like Chicago, perhaps no more appropriate a big city for it. There you go. Yeah. Jordan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Se- second shoe. <laughs> second shoe. Yellow logo um, not working so good on this video, by the way. Just real quick, yeah. to point that out. But we hey, hey, two, two out, out of three. three 66%. Of three. That's not bad. That's not, not bad. Not bad. Um, actually brought this to Chicago on our most mm-hmm. recent trip. Um wow, look at that. A year ago. Yeah. For um my lovely co host Ryan and his beautiful wife Amanda's wedding. Yeah. So I thought I said, you know what? I said, I know I've worn this shoe, but I said, let me really test its comfort. Mm-hmm. I had light packing and I, I really rolled the dice on this shoe because I didn't bring any others. This was the mm. only shoe. This was the travel mm. shoe. This was the everyday shoe. This was the only shoe I was bringing. So I was really mm-hmm. putting a lot in it. And let me tell you what. It heard the call and it answered it. I don't even think the phone rang. That's how quick <laughs> they answered the call. Again, Color ID unnecessary. Yeah. So then, and, and again, with, with, with this shoe, I was thinking the opposite of the black cement three black cement mm. three. I'm thinking I want, I want something recognizable. I want something to see. Oh, I know what that is. And I like it, but I want something that maybe some people will look and be like, I don't know what that is, but I do like it. Mm hmm. That's going to be the Dizygotic Project Alpha mm-hmm. right here. Uh, we've done a, an entire episode on this. Um, the company was was so kind to send us a pair mm-hmm. to look at. They believed yeah. in th- this shoe and everything like that. We have a whole episode that goes into it. So if you're interested yeah. in it, scroll through, type mm-hmm. it in. You'll find it. Beautiful shoe. Like I said, I brought this to Chicago I think we were we we were up there a little bit before you. We were up there four or five mm-hmm. days. Again, this is the only shoe that I brought to a big city. Wore it every day. Mm-hmm. If I was walking, no complaints with this shoe. We did not hear. did not get hurt. Unbelievable mm-hmm. comfort and the shoe held together. I mean, there's no the 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 materials look great. Mm-hmm. No no threads coming out. No cracking. No splitting. No nothing. This bad mm-hmm. boy held up really well. Um, one thing that I did, laces are a little tough, as you can see, knots get yeah. a little loose every now and again when I'm sitting, I just give them a little extra, a little extra mm-hmm. tug, just to, yeah. just to tighten back up so they can go. But boy, this dizygotic shoe, mm-hmm. unreal comfort. Absolutely mm-hmm. loved it. Absolutely. Mm, great one. Solid, yeah. solid, good one. Now, now this is a curveball. Okay. This, this is, is a curveball yeah. because, but there's a story here because Ryan knows first trip, first trip mm-hmm. to Chicago or out there. Um, Ryan says, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to have to dip for a day. So you're going to have a day in Chicago all to yourself. I said, that's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about me. When I get to a big city, it was the first time in Chicago, never been. What I like to do. I get out the hotel. I say, Tanner left or right. I pick a direction and I just start walking. Yeah. It hasn't failed me yet. We'll see. <laughs> what are these days? <laughs> I will say this shoe. It's not really for comfort. Okay. It was this a is bold not a choice. It was a bold choice. Um, blisters and blood. Okay. Blisters and blood. Blood, sweat, and tears. But this is how much I love this shoe. Yeah. So I was thinking something big city, mm-hmm. something that I, I don't really have to, I'm not thinking about. Okay. Mm-hmm. Normally big city, you're thinking a lot more, a lot more grime, trash, you know, sidewalks and things like that. So it's not going to be a, you know, a very clean, cause obviously it's a big city. There's, you know, hundreds of thousands of people walking. So I, I don't want to, mm-hmm. I don't want to 
be maybe walking uh, on maybe on a rainy day or mm. rain the other day. I don't want to bring out the dyes I got. I don't want to bring out the black three. Yeah, exactly. It's not for comfort, so you got to you got to <laughs> ask your group how long you're walking. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Jordan One Nike SB, yeah. New York two pairs. There's blood in this shoe. There's, there's blood in this shoe. And um, it's not Michael Jordan's from the garden. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> sure ain't. Sure yeah. ain't. But let me tell you what, this shoe, mm-hmm. um, when I put this on, I, I'm, I'm not thinking about it um, mm. because I want that character to show. I want the creases. I want the scuffs. I want that paint that's underneath mm-hmm. it to really come through the pink to pop. Um, so this is definitely a shoe that I wear when I'm like, I want to look clean. I want to look nice, but I'm mm-hmm. not thinking about it staying clean and nice about baby in it. Yeah. I'll go ahead. I'll get on the insert name of uh public transportation in Chicago. Oh, the um, CTA. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about, you know, scuffing yeah. it or it getting scratched up. That's yeah. what it's there for. Uh, but again, um, talk to your walking party, how, how many <laughs> miles you're going to be putting in um, anything under three. You should yeah. be good. Okay. Three to five dangerous territory. Don't walk from like downtown to Navy Pier. You're it's no. gonna no. feet are gonna get no. hot. Now I should say real quick for anyone who wants to hear that story, season one, I don't know what episode number. That's gotta be like five or six. That's like one of the first early. Ones. It's early. whatever episode is labeled about complex con. Uh I know we did an there episode around that time. So I might go back and give that one a listen because I haven't heard it since we recorded it. And I would love to hear a fresh take on that story because I've just <sighs> heard it so many times now, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah, that was, that was big city. Good, good big city list. I would say that's solid stuff. I think so. Now, now I know we got the bean behind us. So when you're thinking big city, are you thinking big city or are you thinking Chicago? <laughs> Listen, it's hard not to, I'm not going to New York. I'm not, I'm not going to New York unless you give me a reason I've been and I do not, I'm not itching to go back again. Now on our trip this coming weekend, We'll be in and out of San Francisco. We'll have a little time there, um, mm-hmm. but it's not really a destination. That's not why we're going. So, yeah, for me, when it's big city, it's Chicago. That's where I want to be. Yeah. Okay. All guess right. I just want to uh, get you know, the guess you could consider New Orleans a, a little bit. I'll, I'll throw it in as adjacent, but yeah, it wasn't I, I, necessarily I where so. my head was at when I was putting this together. But let me walk Agreed. you through it here. Thank you. My comfort shoe, right? I need something mm-hmm. I'm going to walk in all day. And admittedly, a lot of the time, it probably would be one of those Air Max I've already showed you, but Mm. this would be the alternative if I'm not going that route. I'm going to choose something kind of like a runner, probably with a mesh upper, very breathable. I've got two choices in there, one of which is the just recently released Clayma Saucony 3D Grid Hurricane, which I feel like we talked all about a -hmm. lot this month already. So I wanted to kind of put that one to the side. The other one, which I might go for, going to be tough. Got to plan the fits around it. But that is the politics and Adidas uh, World's Fair that came out last year, year before this was. Um, Mm -hmm. The EQT prototype. I think I'm getting that correctly here. But yeah, just something. I love shoes like this that have, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but like the mesh upper that's just the mesh and nothing behind it. Super lightweight, super breathable, get a lot of airflow in there. Um, I guess you kind of, offset that a little bit with like the furry sock liner that's going to warm up but well, hey. i love these a lot they feel super light on foot uh and then i i added in after the fact you know some little pins on the Ooh. toe from the world's fair gotta do it i've worn these to new orleans plenty of times i actually don't know if i've yeah. ever brought them to chicago but something like this or the 3d grid hurricane that a nice walking shoe preferably pretty breathable on the upper because you know my feet be getting hot after a long day of walking there i need i need some gonna cool airflow coming through absolutely i like that that's a yeah. good one. The lounge shoe, this is a bit of a different mm. vibe. We're we're putting the Salehi Crocs to the side because I'm not so much lounging outside on this trip like I am on the beach or a nature on a on a nature trip. So spoonerism. <laughs> but my lounge shoe is gonna be something I can maybe wear around the hotel, the Airbnb. We're going on an early morning coffee run. We're going on a late mm. night munchies run. This has mm. absolutely been the shoe that I've brought for it. Nothing crazy. But the easy 350 V2. Okay. Uh, I like the sesame colorway. These have been very, yeah. very good to me, worn a whole lot. Like you said, on and off. Just slip into these, very comfortable, neutral. We'll go with anything, you know. But this is the 
we're going on an early morning coffee run and I'm not getting dressed for the day and I'm not throwing on my shoes for the day. I just need something. Maybe it's free breakfast in the morning, downtown, downtown, downstairs at the hotel. So I got to nice. get down to the lobby. I got to get to the waffle maker before someone else does. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go down and like barefoot, obviously. And I don't want to, I'm not bringing yeah. the sandals with me. I just need something casual. It's going to be this one. I like that. Easy yeah. slip on, easy slip off. Yeah. Easy the to last pack. One. Oh yeah. Pack, just pack flat like that. Smoosh them. Yeah. Like a pancake. Mm. Last shoe here. This is going to be right. The going out, the casual wear. Maybe we're meeting some friends for lunch. Maybe we're going to do something with people. And it's like, you know, I don't want to wear my shoes that I've been wearing all day. I want to change into something else. A little bit more of a, you know, just, a, just a little bit more of an elevated shoe. And you as my witness, because you're the only one who could test this. We got this wall of shoes behind me, right? Mm-hmm. I've not walked back there and grabbed anything mid episode. You know, nope. to the right of me, there's no rack of shoes right here to just infinitely pull from. The only Correct. shoes right here are the ones that I plan to talk about on this episode. Mm-hmm. You hold me accountable to that. Okay. It's going to be the LA to Chicago's, which is crazy because wow. you chose the New York to Paris and these came out at the same time. Wow. So, yeah. That is. This is, this is again, <laughs> I'm not going to put a lot of miles on it, but yeah. exactly like you, I'm not going to baby it. I'm just going to wear it. I'm going to let yep. it get beat up and creased and scuffed and whatever, and just have a really good time. I'll do it. You could see, I go a little bit psycho. I lace mine to the top. I was telling you that recently that yeah. Jordan ones. I'm now laced into the top. I'm going combat booth for the day. I'm locked into these things and I am just wherever the road takes me. But yeah, these are um, so funny. Oh my God. That's what made me laugh when I saw that you were going to talk about those. I was like, that's so funny that I would grab these, but again, it makes sense though, where it's like, I'm going to a big city. So I want to wear something a little bit, you know, a little bit more uh, flashy. And so for me, it's probably going to be a Jordan one, but it's going to be one I can beat up a little bit, you know? I agree. Yeah. So that would be it for me. And I guess, especially for if it were a Chicago trip, you know, a Chicago colorway. There you go. Wow. Very funny that. I know. Yeah. Same shoe for the same reason, basically. And the Air Max ones, too. uh, Hey, turns out we do a (laughs) pot. Yeah. Podcast (laughs) and and (laughs) friends for. Turns out when you're like friends for a decade, it uh, yeah. oh, it's longer than a decade. Wow, I just realized <laughs> yeah. how old we are. I've yeah. been used to saying friends for a decade, but I'm like, that was like five years ago. You could stop saying friends for a decade. Yeah, I was cool. saying it's getting scary to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting up there. Yeah. But. All right. Throw this one back on. There we go. Vacation's over. Tomorrow's Monday. <laughs> we're going to go back to work. Oh. Uh, did you do the laundry? Nope. Well, nope. No. Weird thing about me. Love to do the laundry the day before we leave for vacation, come back to the clean sheets. Mm. Cause you're going to come back with a suitcase house, full of yeah. laundry that has to be mm. done. And the yeah. only thing worse is a basket that also has to be done. That's already been at home. Very true. You know what, you know what I've been enjoying? Hmm. We did it uh, for the, our, our beach trip that we just had uh, this year. And we're going to be doing it for our vacation in 2024. Leave mm. on a Friday, come back on a Friday. We do a Friday mm. to Friday. Yeah. Travel days are Friday. You come back, you're tired. Oh, that's okay. You got two recovery days. Mm-hmm. Saturday, you wake up. What's the worst thing? You come back on a Saturday. Sunday, you got to maybe do a bunch of chores, but you don't want to do a bunch of chores. I yeah. got to. Yeah. Mm. Big, big energy on that one. This is, uh, we didn't talk about it, but this is, I think, the first vacation we're doing. I don't count our honeymoon because we were off the week before for our wedding and everything. But yeah, sure. we're leaving on a Friday, coming back on a Saturday. Whereas, yeah, you would typically try to maybe go Saturday to Saturday or Saturday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, no, I don't want to come back Sunday night. And then it's like, okay, we land in New Orleans. We drive home. Well, I guess we should get to sleep in the next hour because I got work in like 10 hours from now. That's that's a rude awakening from a vacation. So, no, thankfully, we're coming back Saturday afternoon. Sunday will be our off day. And then Monday we'll get back to the grind. That's the way to do it. Give you a little buffer day. Good travel tip. Good buffer day. Yeah. Mm. So... Real quick. Wow, that was a good one. That was a fun one. I really, yeah. I really like that. Dove into the collection a little bit. Got, little to, bit. got to play around with them. Yeah. So Very thank fun. you everyone who made it this far in the episode. If you like this type of episode and you want to see more of this, of like our list of our own personal stuff that we would do, or you just want to see us grab shoes from our personal collections and talk about them a little bit more, hit the comments, hit the DMs down below. Let us know if you want I'll more of that there. content. We are very happy to, I know, yeah, we sit in front of these walls of shoes every episode 
And this is the yeah. first time we're like, let me tell you about one of these shoes on this wall. You know, they're nice. And I and even have hold them it up. just stacked over here. Yeah. Yeah. So they're overflowing. If you like this sort of thing, let us know. Maybe we'll do some more of it. Let's go ahead. Let's roll the credits here. Not the final credits, but you can find us online at shoepodcast.com and you can find us across all of our social media channels at shoe podcast. We're everywhere except for where we're not. That's the way we like to say it around here. But the main mm. ones obviously being YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, hit a subscribe, hit a little like on yeah. this, drop on. the follow on IG. What's the action on TikTok? I'm notoriously not on TikTok. Do Doing, doing pretty good. We're actually approaching a thousand likes. Very nice. Sorry, I meant so, to ask. What's cool. the what's the user call to action here? Is that a, is it a subscribe? Is it a follow? I think it's a follow. It's a follow. follow. Okay, go ahead yeah, and follow yeah. us on TikTok. There. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if I get you know, let's see, you know, if I get a couple, fifty, maybe a hundred subscribers, I'll do a weird dance. Who knows? Okay, that's what we need. A, I've been begging this man on, to make one. I'll just get on TikTok live and do the weird NPC thing. People love it, apparently. Okay. Or sleeping. It's weird. Okay. Sleeping easier, but yeah, that's the internet for you. So thank you everyone for checking out another episode of Shoe Podcast. This is normally where we would say we'll be back next week with another one, except in this case, we will not be back next week with another one. We're taking off. What's that day? November 3rd. Yeah. No episode yes, November death. 3rd. We will be back on the 10th. I almost forgot any words you want to leave the people with before we go. Clean your trash can. Okay. Outside, inside, it's gross. You put trash in there. Mm-hmm. When was the last time you did it? That's part of being an adult is realizing the sadness of cleaning your trash can and your vacuum cleaner and recycling where you're like, I got to yeah. wash the trash before I give them back the trash. What is that? Welcome. What is it? What, what, are, we, what are we doing here? Welcome to adulthood. Yeah. Don't even get this man started on how most of your recycling isn't being recycled. Uh, That's a whole nother 50 minutes he'll do. And I'll join cut. it for it. So, yep, cut, cut, cut it. <laughs> cut cut and I'll, cut and I'll hop in. So, once again, thank you, everyone, for checking out another episode of Shoe Podcast. I am your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. See you all in a couple of weeks. Y'all be good to each other. Y'all be nice. Enjoy your Halloween, okay? Treats only tricks. Thank you. <laughs>